Today I'm doing a retest using the Motion Cam Pro on my Samsung S23 Ultra. The test is mainly for the direct log video feature in the Motion Camera Pro. Uh, the, the app uh, right now is very mature. Uh, it has all the features. It used to be uh, you need to on shooting, you can only shoot in RAW and you need to convert from the software uh, either in the app or in the computer. Right now, there's a direct uh, log video feature. Uh, I think it's not, not new. Uh, it's been there for a while. Uh, you can choose a lot of different color space and uh, different uh, log uh, curve. Like uh, you can choose uh, pa Panasonic V-Log, Canon Log, Sony S-Log 3, uh, and uh, there are the other options. So you can see here is my uh, screenshot of my motion cam setting, uh, HDBC, 10 bit 420, color space Canon Cinema, uh, transfer function Canon Log 3, random quality I use standard, uh, and then the the, the megabyte, megabyte is 70 megabytes. I find it's a good balance. Uh, I, I tried like a 50, 40. Uh, I find that in low light, uh, the, the noise get uh, very mushed, very mushed. It's uh, uh, ob obviously if you try to set over 100 megabytes, it will be even better for low light because the noise will be more fine detail. Uh, but uh, I think 70 is fine, especially for daylight when you don't see much noise. It's, I think uh, in daylight, even 15 megabytes is fine, but uh, I think 70 is a good balance. Uh, so I usually just use 70. This is a 14 millimeter lens. Without uh, the camera auto correction, distortion is very extreme. And this is after the grading. Uh, I didn't use any particular LUTs. For the recent update of the Premium Pro, uh, you can, in the Lumetri color setting, the, you can override the media color space. Uh, you can see I, the, the original one you import to the Premium Pro, it used Rec 2020. So it's, I don't know why it's Rec, 20, Rec 2020, that's HLG. Uh, I don't know why it's not Rec 709 by default. But uh, anyway, I overwrite it with the uh, existing LUTs in the Premiere Pro. Uh, they have all different kind of uh, common one. The Canon Log 2, Canon Log 3, Panasonic V-Log, Sony S-Log 3, they have all the uh, correction LUTs there. So I just choose this one and uh, uh, adjust the the basic like a c contrast, uh, exposure, uh, saturation. Uh, I feel the last gave a good, uh, very good correction. So I didn't use any last from uh, from internet. And uh, this is the twenty three millimeter the main lens. Uh, by the way, uh, I didn't add any. Uh, post uh, stabilization. This is what you get from the camera with the OIS turn on. Uh, not as stable as, as when you use the native camera app. Uh, because I think the native camera app uh, crop too much uh, by stabilizing the footage. Uh, this is more close to handheld, like, yeah. Uh, this is the the seventy millimeter lens because the native resolution is not four K. I would say so. You you can see when I import it to the four K timeline, there's the black bar. The seventy millimeter and the uh two hundred forty millimeter is actually not really true four K. Uh, the raw sensor at one hundred percent, 
uh, I can see there's a noise. Uh, the, this lens, only the 23 millimeter, the main lens, uh, has the, the least noise. Other camera, all these are shot at uh, ISO 50. This is the lowest ISO. But uh, those small sensor, they still produce noise, even at ISO 50. You probably cannot see in the YouTube, YouTube but uh, I can tell you, besides the 23 millimeter, all other three uh, lens, even at ISO 50, uh, produce noise, even at this bright daylight. The raw, I didn't add uh, sharpening, but uh, for the grading image, I added uh, add sharpening to all the graded uh, clip. You can see the it will be a little bit sharper than the uh, raw image. The phone can be a more useful tool now, uh, and uh, you don't need to convert uh, the raw, and it uh, occupies less the your space in your phone, the storage space in your phone. Uh, it's much more a uh, a uh, useful tool with this direct log video, with the log curve uh, transformation feature, right? right build in so yeah uh hope you like it thank you for watching